Hi guys, it's Just Monis Fiction and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my February TBR. Alright guys, so I want to read nine books in February, which doesn't sound like a lot, but three of them are over 500 pages, so we're going to see how well I do. Two of these are young adult fantasy and the rest are either romance fantasy or pure romance. And I'm really excited. A lot of these are new releases that are coming out in February or came out in late January. So before we jump in, if you're unfamiliar with my channel, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post new bookish content. You can also check out my Instagram. It is linked down in the description below. You can also find me on Goodreads. I will also have that linked down in the description. Now with all of that out of the way, let's talk about the books I want to read in February. All right, first up is my most anticipated release for February, if not my most anticipated release for 2022. So House of Sky and Breath is coming out this month in February, and I'm so excited. This is the sequel to House of Earth and Blood, the Crescent City series, and I just, I need to know what happens. So Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood is following Bryce Quinlan, who is half a half human living in Lunathian. And then one day a tragedy takes place and she ends up teaming up with Hunt Athelar and they try to solve the mystery of what happened that night. So if you've already read Crescent City and you just want a refresh, I actually did a whole recap video that I'll leave in the cards and in the description that just recaps all of like the key elements that happened in Crescent City before you jump into House and Sky and Breath. Once again, I'm so excited to jump back into this world and I need to know what happens. I'm really hoping, I can't say anything, but I'm just, I have hopes for this book. So I actually did a predictions video that should be up by the time this video comes out that I'll also leave in the cards and the description, um, just predicting what I think is gonna happen in House and Sky and Breath, but it's gonna be good. I hope it lives up to the first book because the first book was just amazing. And yeah, I'm so, so excited to read this book and I will definitely be binging it when it comes out in February. And next up, I'm gonna be doing a reread of The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So The War of the Two Queens is gonna be released in March. So I'm gonna do a reread of this. That way I can do a recap video and a predictions video similar to what I did for Crescent City. So I love this book. This is actually one of my favorites in the From Blood and Ash series. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I just love what happens with Poppy's character in this book. I really feel like she like holds her own and like comes into her power. And I just love her in this book. She's so strong. So I'm super excited to do a reread of this. Um, I, once again, this is one of my favorite series ever. So anytime I can reread it, I get excited. So look forward to that recap video and that prediction video probably at the end of February or the very beginning of March. All right, so moving into my fantasy, the first book I want to read is The Bone Spindle by Leslie Better. This is a debut novel and it sounds amazing. It is a Sleeping Beauty retelling, except in this, the prince is the one that's asleep and I think our main character is trying to break the curse on him. I also believe this is two different relationships, one of them being sapphic, the other being male-female, and it just sounds awesome. So it just sounds really exciting and like a really fun time. So I will definitely be picking this up and I really look forward to reading it. And the other YA fantasy that I'm looking forward to reading in February is Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. I actually talked about this book in 22 books I'm looking forward to reading in 2022. I will leave that linked in the cards and the description, but this book just sounds like so much fun. It is following a girl who ends up staying with her late mother's eccentric family. And when she gets there, she realizes that her family is a bunch of monsters. And on top of that, her coworker is actually a monster hunter. So to protect herself against her coworker, she ends up teaming up with the handsome heir to the rival monster family. And it goes from there and it just sounds so good. Apparently it's about her like embracing her monster power and I can't wait to read it. So this doesn't come out till the end of February, which I'm kind of bummed about because I really want to read this soon, but it will definitely be read as soon as it comes out. I cannot wait for it. All right, moving into fantasy romance. I have a lot of books in this genre. So first off, we have City of Thorns by C.N. Crawford. So I've been wanting to read this book for a while, but I kept pushing it off. However, I will now be buddy reading this book with Isa from Fun Fantasy Books. I will leave her channel linked down in the description below. She does amazing, really in-depth reviews of fantasy books, so I highly re recommend checking out her channel. 
But this book in particular is following a mortal girl who ends up teaming up with a demon in order to get revenge on the person that killed her mother. And I don't know very much about this, however, I have seen on Goodreads a lot of people I'm friends with have given this five stars, so I'm very intrigued. It was also pitched to people that like From Blood Nash and Paranormal Romance, so I think I'm really gonna love this, and I know it's the start of a series, so I'm very excited about this one. All right, next up we have Electric Idol by Katie Robert. This is the second book in the Dark Olympus series following Neon Gods. Now, if this book is half as good as Neon Gods, I think it's gonna be amazing. So Neon Gods was following Hades and Persephone. This one is following Psyche and Eros. Unfortunately, I don't know very much about that Greek myth. Um, however, once again, I loved the first book so much. I'm sure this one is gonna be good. It is getting okay reviews on Goodreads. The main critique I keep seeing is that this one has a lot more plot than Neon Gods, but I don't see how that can be a negative. Um, I'm excited to read this. I was trying my hardest not to read this until the beginning of February, and I succeeded, so this will definitely be one of the first books I read, and I just cannot wait to jump into it. And last up for Fantasy Romance is A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. I know nothing about this book. This is another book that I saw a lot of my friends on Goodreads rated very high, um, and that is the only reason I want to read it. Just because I know they have similar reading tastes to me, so I'll probably enjoy it, and it's been on my radar. But this is, I believe, following a girl who's a thief who ends up betrothed to a king that she absolutely hates. I think it's enemies to lovers. It is pretty long for a fantasy romance. I just looked at the page count. I wasn't expecting that. So hopefully I get to this in February. Like I said, I have a lot of really long books I want to read in February. But this sounds very interesting and it's getting really good reviews. All right, moving into romance, there's only two. The first one is The Heir by Sophie Lark. This is the first in the Kingmaker series. So this series takes place after the events of the Brutal Birthright series and it's the children of those couples. I love the Brutal Birthright series. It's an amazing mafia romance. I highly suggest reading or recommend reading that series. So the heir is following Sebastian's son who ends up going to the Kinmaker College, which is a college where the mafia leaders send their children to become like better mafia leaders and they're not allowed to kill each other at this college. So I'm very excited to jump into this. Um, this I already have on Audible, so I will be reading this very, very soon. And Sebastian was one of my favorite characters from the Brutal Birthright series. So I'm very excited to see what happens with his son. And I think it's just gonna be a really good time. All right, and last up, I wanna read November 9th by Colleen Hoover. So I've read some absolutely amazing books by Colleen Hoover. Um, I think I've loved them all, given them all five stars besides Verity. So I just wanna continue with that streak. Please let me know down in the comments. I think I've read most of her really popular ones. If there are any other really good ones, let me know, because I'm really not sure where to go next after November 9th. But um, I think this is following a, two people end up meeting, and then the girl ends becoming the muse for the guy, he's a novelist, and then they meet on the same day every year, and then a relationship, I'm sure, blossoms. But I just, I love her characters, and I love her stories, and they're just so good. I weep every single time I read her books. So I am really excited to continue with everything she's written. But anyway, I'm really excited. And once again, let me know if there are any other good Colleen Hoover books that you know that aren't super popular. Let me know down in the comments because I have no idea what to read next. <laughs> all right, guys, those are all the books I plan on reading in February. Please let me know down in the comments below if you are reading any of these books. Which ones are you most excited about? And I said this already, but I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week.